NBA basketball totals for Tuesday, December 27th. We got all the games on the card today. There are just four of them. Uh, this is our NBA segment for you new guys where we check out the total of a game. We try to go over or under that total set by odds makers. We also have our NCAA segment out there as well. So be sure to check that out. And don't forget to check out SBR as always with all the odds, uh, all the numbers, all the sportsbook reviews at SBR. So be sure to check out sportsbook review. Let's dive right in. First game up, we got Memphis and Boston. 197 set by odds makers, but I'm going to go under this total. Now, they met once, uh, or last time they met, I should say, uh, Memphis and Boston. They went over this total, but they went to overtime. And uh, this is actually a pretty low total, considering Boston is kind of a team that likes to get up and down, but I don't think it's going to happen tonight against a Memphis team that goes really slow. Right now, Memphis is allowing opponents just 33.5 field goals made per game. That ranks first in the league. They're coming off a back-to-back, uh, really playing poorly against Orlando. I look for them to play a lot better tonight, but Boston, if you kind of see Boston starting to roll just a little bit. Right now, Memphis is averaging just 97.4 points per game. They're ranked second to last in the NBA. Uh, Boston's averaging 105.2. That ranks 12th. Boston's just not going as fast as they did last year. They're still pretty efficient, but defensively, good numbers. They're allowing opponents 44.4%. Uh, shooting overall, they're ranks eighth in the NBA. So I just don't think we're going to get to that 197. Memphis, not a really good shooting team, ranking like in the bottom three in most shooting percentage categories. And if they stick to their, you know, their normal rate of play, I just don't see us getting over this total. So I'm going to take under uh, this total here with Boston and Memphis at 197. Next one up we got is Oklahoma City and Miami. Ozzie have this at 204.5. Now Miami's been a really slow team. Not quite as slow as Memphis or uh, or Utah uh, on the year, but or Dallas, but two hundred four and a half. I think they get over. Oklahoma City's been pushing some tempo. Right now, they're averaging one hundred seven points per game. That ranks ninth in the NBA. Miami is uh, averaging ninety eight point six. That ranks twenty six. Miami, though, they've shown at times the ability to really get up and down the floor. And I think they're going to be able to do it tonight against Oklahoma City defense that ranks in the bottom third in the NBA in most shooting percentage categories. So I think that's what we're going to see tonight. Miami has not been very efficient shooting, but I think tonight we're going to see them score uh, enough against an Oklahoma City team that really likes to get up and down, averaging uh, 87 attempts per game. They're ranked seventh in the NBA, and Miami's okay with that. They're allowing about 86 attempts per game, and that ranks 11th in. Uh, excuse me, that ranks 13th in the NBA. So right in the middle. So I like for this to get over. I think that 204 and a half is set just about right because with the con- conflicting styles. But I really like uh, with both these teams coming off. Um, you know, coming off the break, kind of looking like they're going to try and uh, push some tempo a little bit. At least Oklahoma City is, and I think Miami's going to go ahead and go run with them uh, in that aspect. Uh, Miami, not the dread shooting wise. They're shooting uh, 47.9% from the floor. That's uh, 20 on their two point shots. Shoot, excuse me, that's 22nd overall. And uh, Oklahoma City, they allow a lot of tempo. And I think we're going to see these guys get up and down and get over that 204 and a half. Next one up, we got uh, Houston and Dallas. Ozmakers have this. Now, both of them are coming off a of back-to-back with Houston wiping the floor with Phoenix. And uh, Dallas, as I excuse me, as I uh, make this video, they're coming down to the end here with uh, New Orleans. Um, two eight and a half set by Ozmakers, but I'm going to go under with these teams coming off a of back-to-back. You got Houston, unbelievable offensively, 112.9 points per game. They're right second in the NBA behind the Warriors. Dallas, though, has not been scoring at a really good rate, 94.1 points per game. Uh, they're ranked last in the NBA. However, you know, that being said, they have scored a little bit better recently. They have put a kind of, – they're a little bit better offensively as they start to get healthy with Nowitzki back in the lineup. Bogut's still out. But still, that 2.8.5, I think it's just a bit too much with a Dallas team that just does not push tempo. And neither does Houston. They've been really efficient, but they're averaging, just like Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, they're averaging 87 attempts per game, right around there, which is pretty fast. But Dallas, they allow just 76.9 attempts per game. That ranks uh, first in the NBA or last, however you want to look at it. Efficiency ratings, Dallas is not a good shooting team, um, even though they are trying to – it seems like they're playing a little bit better basketball recently, but they're doing it on the defensive end and translating that in the offense. Houston, defensively, they're not the dreads. They're ranked 20th in opponent efficiency and effective field goal percentage. I think this stays under that total. Tempo might be decent, but I, don't, I think that's going to end up more around 200 and not to this 208. All right, last one up. We got Utah and Los Angeles, 204 set by odds makers. Another slow team here. Uh, we have four of the slowest teams in the NBA here with Memphis, Miami, Dallas, and now Utah. So some tough matchups here as far as trying to get this total right. I'm going to go over that 204. Now, they met earlier in the year. Utah won uh, 107 to 101. Uh, I kind of like the Lakers, by the way, getting the four and a half, just to let you know. But I like them getting over this 204. Utah has been really slow, but, man, they can score. 
You're talking about a Utah team right now. Let's look at their tempo real quick. 77.2 attempts per game. That ranks last in the NBA. But they're shooting 52% on their two-point shots. That ranks third. And they're shooting 46.6% uh, overall. That ranks six. So I really like for them to score tonight against a Dallas team that ranks still last in most shooting percentage categories. On the other end, Although Utah does go slow and they do play great defense, you got a uh, Los Angeles team that likes to push some tempo at 87 attempts per game. That seems to be the theme with Oklahoma City, uh, you know, now the Lakers, and then previously we were talking about Houston. That seems to be the, you know, the matchups tonight, fast team versus slow team. So you kind of have to gauge how it's going to work out. I like the Lakers to score tonight. I, I think, you know, at home they're going to be comfortable. I think they're going to go ahead and be able to shoot from distance. Point of contention tonight, you got a Utah team. That's not great defending from beyond the arc, 36%. That's 19th in the NBA, and that's one of the Lakers' strengths. So I like for this to get over that 204. I think they're going to get up and down. Utah's averaging 99.1 points per game. That's not dead last in the NBA. Lakers are, are averaging 104.5. The Lakers are allowing 110. That's really bad, and Utah's been great. They, they're first in scoring defense, but they are on the road, and I think we're going to see some tempo tonight, and they're going to get over that 204. Two, yeah, 204. No uh, no hook on that. All right, quick recap. We got really conflicting styles in these matchups, so be sure to, you know, you know, take take this as uh, you know, as, as I make this assessment and go ahead and make your own play. But uh, this, this is what I like. I like Memphis and Boston under the 197. Uh, Oklahoma City, Miami over the 204.5. Houston and Dallas under the 208.5. And Utah, Los Angeles, Lakers over the 204 with a lean on the Lakers plus the 4.5. Those are my NBA totals picks. And I wish you guys luck on your picks today. Go to SBRodds.com. Browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbooks. 